All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are in Buckinghamshire at a epilepsy hospital. Now, this place was built in the late 1800s or the start of the, the 1900s. Um, yeah, been closed for about 20 years. And uh, yeah, the decay in this place is uh, pretty impressive, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've got half the stairs missing just behind me. Uh, loads of peel all over the walls. Uh, certainly does look the part. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get something. So, without further ado, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, welcome back. So, we're going to start today down in the reception in the entrance hall area uh, with the uh, rotten stairs behind me. But we will go up stairs later and have a look. Uh, Hopefully. Yeah. So, would you want to call out, sir? So, we've come here to see if we can get any paranormal kind of activity. We've been here for a little while now. If you are here, you've obviously been watching us, listening to us, wandering around here like a couple of idiots. <laughs> so, if there are any spirits or or any kind of ghost here then could you please give us some kind of sign that you can make see us hear us if you could knock on anything knock something over make any kind of sound then that would be awesome that's my stomach Now, we're not here to do you any harm. We just want proof of the afterlife. If that's something you can help us with. And my name's Michael. And my name's Adrian. And we're gonna be here for a couple of hours so if you could do something for us, we'd really appreciate it. We've just come here to try and communicate with you. If you're listening. <clears throat> Nothing as of yet. No. Should we have a walk round? Yeah, I'd always kind of thought like somewhere like this where obviously you'd have a lot of people coming in. Yeah. And you'd have a lot of people up and down the stairs. Yeah. You know, for some bizarre reason, you'd I always kind of imagined it would be almost like a hot spot of yeah. some form of activity. Or, you know, just spirits. I don't know, going about their spirit day. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they'd be going up and down the stairs. No. <laughs> and, the, and the front door's locked. Yeah, not as stupid as me and you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's try out in this corridor. Right? Yeah. Well, most of this is all open, guys. Like all the, the safety doors have had the glass put through or taken out. So, in a way, that's good because we'll be able to hear noises coming from every part of the building. As you can see, look at the state of that down there. That just looks well creepy. So should we have a walk? Should we do Come like the, all the nearest bits first and walk yeah. through? Can do. Oh. 
looks like no one's flushed the toilet. Jesus. I didn't look in there before. No, I, don't, I didn't either. I just walked straight past it. To be fair, there's that many frigging toilets here. Curry did not agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a lot of... A lot of small little rooms. Oh, Jesus. A lot of small little rooms, guys, with toilets. There's the kitchen here. Let's try in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's somewhere else that I'd imagine would always, like, when it Have was a lot of people coming open, in and a lot out, of people yeah. in and out of here. Let's put the... What's that in your hand? Our one and only device. The green light. Yes, the green light. Now, you probably heard us a second ago calling out for somebody to come forward. Any spirits that still reside in this building, please come forward if you can and give us a sign that you're here with us. There's a bloody plane going over. Mm. Yeah, I think we're on some kind of flight path. Yeah. Could you perhaps knock on something for us? Or go towards this device on the floor or with the, the light on. <laughs> <laughs> and the colour of that light is green. <laughs> it, always, it always makes me think of um, shaking Stevens behind the green door. I think we should kind of like... <laughs> Do some kind of K2 song to do with the green light. <laughs> no. no water. No, I was going to say turn the taps on if you can. Go on. I was just going to say, if you could make a noise for us. That's exactly what I was going to say. A noise of any description. You know, we're obviously looking for some kind of communication. And it's entirely up to you what you choose, how you choose to communicate with us. But we would be very grateful for some kind of communication. And if you don't want to go towards that green light, why don't you shut them cupboard doors over there, look, where that sink is, or you just knock on them. Please, if you can see us or hear us, do follow us around the building. We won't bite. <laughs> We're not vampires. Let's go and try in the living room. Yeah, just remember that floor there where you're about to step oh, out. Yeah, that's so <laughs> spongy down there. did hear something in here earlier. Sounded not sure whether it was a rat or a demon. But did hear movement from the ceiling. Yeah. Okay, so we've come into the living room now. Surely if there is anybody here, you'd be in this, what used to be your living room. Even though it's a bit of a state now. Mm, uh, got a nice big windows at the front here. Please come forward if you can and make a noise for us. Or you could trigger that object on the floor just by standing next to it with the green light. All it will do is light up different colours. But if you could make a noise or show yourself in some way. 
that would be preferred. That's my feet. And my stomach. <laughs> Really. So maybe you used to stay here, you stayed here for a while, or you used to work here. Like I keep repeating, all we want to do is communicate with any spirits that may be here. Maybe you worked here, or maybe you were treated here. That's my stomach now. It said, what was that? My stomach again. God, your stomach's worse than mine tonight. No, it's not. That's a rarity. <laughs> it said that they treated people here with epilepsy. Maybe you were one of the patients. My God, what have you been eating? Uh, liver, bacon and onions. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, it does not look <laughs> that. <laughs> well. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yeah, well, it's not like your stomach's never made a lot of noise, is it? Do you want to go into that room Jesus next? Jesus Christ. Oh God, that floor's don't, dodgy as fuck. Don't step there. Don't step there, I said. Let's jump over to this bit here. All right. You know, that's not much better, is it? Of course it is. That was just the door shutting. Oh my God, this floor is so... Oh my God. <laughs> I can feel it cracking under my feet and... Ooh. Yeah, it's not very good. No, at all. Oof, bloody hell. Fridge? Yeah. Stomach? <laughs> of course. So if you do want to make yourself known, it's going to be, have to be something big to drown out Adrian's stomach. <laughs> something significant to drown yes. that out. I reckon this might have been a, I don't know, like a TV room or something like this, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of trying to picture what it would have been like when it was fully furnished. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's just a weird place. It is weird. I mean, I don't really know anything about epilepsy. Like, would it have been people come here that had like really severe cases of epilepsy, if there is such a thing? Oh no, this floor is literally about to go. Yeah, it's bad. That's for sure. Yeah, well. Oh yeah, this room was creepy. I reckon this was kind of like a, ch kind of like a little children's area. Oh my god. Yeah, not safe. This floor's worse than the other one a minute ago. Yeah, I can feel it right, right there.
Oh my god, that's going. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Fucking death trap in here. It's not good. I'm just gonna stand by the door. If there's anybody in here that would like to communicate with us, we're giving you the opportunity. Take your stomach again? Mm, I think so. No, that's not. You hear that? They're talking. It sounds like a, like a whimpering. It's very distant. Mm. I didn't hear whimpering, I thought I heard voices, but. There's a road out over that way, isn't there? That was my oh, stomach yes, again. Is that you trying to talk to us? I think we can hear voices. Could you make them louder? We don't mean any disrespect and we certainly wouldn't mean to cause you any harm. We just, like I keep saying, we just want to communicate. Maybe you could make a noise down this corridor. Maybe you could throw something. Jesus Christ. That was me. <laughs> Don't lean up against the walls, they're falling apart. Mm. Unfortunately they are. Could you show yourself to us down this corridor? Please come towards my light if you can. What are you doing in there? Just wandering about. Little trundle down here. Now, so far, we haven't heard anything that indicates you're here with us. So, if you could please try and gather some energy and do something. Much plain noise, and that's my back in the full door. So, the more I'm walking around, or the more we're walking around, the more this floor feels dodgy as. Yeah, didn't feel dodgy earlier, did it? No.
What are you doing in the cup? I'll just stand and look around. <laughs> the door. Oh my god. Fucking hell, that scared the shit out of me. I thought there was somebody walking outside there. It was your reflection in the... F Ugh. Oh my god, can I jumped in my throat. Please calm down. <laughs> I thought it was someone outside looking in the window. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Friggin' dog. Do you think that could be security? No. Holy unlikely. How are they going to get in? <laughs> With great difficulty. Yeah, we'll be able to get a dog in here. Let's say chuck it through a window. <laughs> now maybe you don't want us in this hospital. That dog is going nuts. And yeah, maybe you don't want us in this hospital, so if you could make a massive bang for us, then we'll leave. After we've been upstairs? Yeah. Perhaps you could walk down this corridor. We could hear your footsteps. I'm just going to put down this K2 down at this crossroads here because we've literally got that way, that way. In that way. So, I thought there have been so many people that have crossed down this mm. this part. Could you please come, please? Oh, Could you please? Making words up. Could you please come towards this device on the floor with the green light? If you can't make any noises, maybe you could show us your your energy. And I won't harm you. It will just light up green, yellow, and red to indicate you're here with us. Could you do that now for us, please? Try and focus all your energy on that device on the floor if you can. Dog. Sounds like a dog mm. howling. If you could just make that device go off once for us, that's all you need to do. What was that? I don't know. Came from down there. It sounded like movement down the corridor. Let's go and investigate. Yeah, let's have a look. Definitely came from down here. Yeah. Crispy.
Hello? What was that? What the fuck was that? Hello? What is that? Nothing now. Come here. What the fuck is that? I don't know. That's somebody walking. See the some of that fucking stuff that's growing outside. No, no way. That's rubbing people. on the, nah, rubbing on that metal, or it's a bird on the roof or something. Let's go down there. Right. After you, sir. right here above my head. It's the same kind of noise what we heard earlier. Yeah, in the room. is it like birds or rats or something? Yeah. It's definitely not paranormal. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Not that step. <laughs> Means I've got to do it now. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Now, if you didn't hear us downstairs, my name's Michael. And my name is Adrian. And we're paranormal investigators that have come here to investigate whether there's any spirits that still reside in this building. Now, if you could come forward and make yourself known in any way, we'd appreciate it. We're not here to harm you, we just want to come to communicate, if possible. Perhaps you could bang on something for us or talk to us. Or... Or... <coughs> There's a little black device on this chair next to me. So if you come and stand next to me, and it should pick up your energy on that little black device. If you don't want to stand next to me, <laughs> then you could bang for us. Yeah. As loud as you can, if possible. Oh, 
which way we went. Was that a, a noise in behind you then? No, it was probably me. Like a click? No, I didn't hear that. You didn't hear it? No. Something like in here? No, I didn't hear that. I heard that. And again? It could just Wait. be. I can hear an old radio. from outside. It sounded like an old style radio. Go over to the window, see if you can hear it clearer. I can't hear it now, it's gone. Yeah, it sounded like something not like being played on a device. I mean, why would somebody be walking past with, with that playing on their, I don't know, phone or whatever? Yeah, I don't know, mate. It's fucking late at night. I didn't hear it, to be fair. Oh, well, hopefully the camera's picked it up. That was weird. Yeah. That was really weird. So, unfortunately, we're going to be leaving soon because we're running out of rooms. places to, yeah, rooms to ask if there is anybody here. So, maybe now you'd like to take the opportunity to scare us. Or not. Or not. It's just nothing really in there, it's just full of that fucking stuff and I'm breathing all that in. Oh, what, breathing all that All in? that, yeah. Why See not? It's dust good for you. No, it's not. Fog glass. See all the dust coming off of there. So that's the key to longevity. Yeah. <laughs> what was in here? Bathroom. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bathroom number 58. <laughs> 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 Bathroom? No, it's some kind of little kitchen. Kitchenette. I wonder if they used to live here then, the the, uh, the patients. It was kind of like a little living in quarters for people so with no, epilepsy. I don't know. All I know is there's a plate with a knife, no a fork and two spoons left on it, and that's it. Oh. No snacks, no nothing. Charming. I'm starving. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry actually again. Uh, so basically that's the upstairs. That's the upstairs oh, done. I still can't get over how small it is. Yeah, considering the rest of the building is massive. It just doesn't make sense. I just... I don't know. <laughs> this, <laughs> this feels dodgy. Oh. I think it's because I'm holding the camera this time. You want me to hold that? Yeah, hold that mate. Okay. How did I tackle this before? Oh, Jesus Christ. Got it? Yeah. Can you hold yours? Yeah, please. Your and camera. You can, can watch me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Yes, please, to the camera. Look at me now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you all right? No, I'm old. So. Okay, so back where we started. Yeah, back where we started. Which is probably a good way, good place to finish. Mm. Just before we go, if you could please give us something significant to go away with, to send us on our way, 
We'd really appreciate it. One large bang. Tell us to go away. Scream, shout, tap us, knock something, bang something. Anything. Make the device with the green light go off. Just one big thing and we'll be out of your hair.